Right, mate, you ready to train? Yeah. Let's go. What are you watching? Bodybuilder. Oh, you're a bodybuilder, so you're watching a bodybuilder. Bodybuilder. Got to be done, isn't it? Yeah. Bodybuilder. It's, it's just my pre pre workout uh, ritual. Yep. So, what I like to do is just <coughs> sit and watch videos of bodybuilders. This Ronnie Coleman. He, Ronnie uh, Coleman. He yeah. was quite good. Yeah, yeah. He was quite good, but if he'd have done a you know course on, on on banding and strength curves, probably be, probably be better. So yeah. you know he'll clear himself, but yeah. you know he was pretty good. Do you reckon he used to eat bagels and jam? It's pretty good. Oh, so yeah, it's uh, just a pre-workout ritual. There. I, do think I, he... I like to have a good 120 um, grams of carbohydrates just before I, just before I train because. I get in for the uh, for the digestible source of food, uh, the ones that you can digest. Um, you mean all, all food then, probably? What? Well, you can digest all food, can't you? All food digests, doesn't it? Yeah, but this is this is better. Well, yeah, so this will take a good two or three hours to digest. And um, yeah, so we'll head to the gym and I'm going to get there before it digests. What? Um, well, but why is that useful? Well, I'm going to get there before it digests, and then I just create that demand. Well, you just have after. Of what after? Well, that'll be my post workout meal, because I've created a demand. Oh, okay. Yeah. So oh. you have this, you then train, and then it kicks in. And then you need. M <laughs> I think you need more. And then it. We created a demand. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, we're going to do push what day. What are you having to drink? So, you need some sort of hydration. Thing. Is that, they're not yours, are they? They're monsters, though. No, can't have those. There's a. Not that. These have got sweeteners in. <clears throat> can't have sweeteners. No. Yeah. Not allowed to have sweeteners. Mm, yeah, we're going to go push day. When you are going to see me work, you are going to see us. Us. Well, we're going to work. We. We. Yeah, we're going, we're going to see we work. What? Us. <laughs> Me, I'm calling something singular, plural. So we are working, we are grinding, we are performing, we are taking it to the next level. Yeah, and we're we're really pushing on, and, and it's it's time for a new era. Um, and we're going to get a push day. We're going to focus on the uh, caviclia. Um, what? The, the caviclia fibers of the uh, of the chest. What? The caviclias. The caviclia ones. Okay. Do you mean clavicular? Clavicular. Yeah, clavicular. That's what I said. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be introducing some. Uh, of course, I'm gonna be introducing some some banding and some cuff work. Why 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 would I not? Why would I not? If it, if it's there, I'll take don't, it. Don't think Ronnie Coleman's that. Yeah, he could have been better. He, he could have been better. Um, you know, it's a shame that this channel wasn't around for Ronnie to watch back in the day because if it was, you know, with the content and the top notch quality that I'm producing, um, he could probably have learned a thing or two, you know. But he's kicking himself. But yeah, he'll, he'll kick himself, you know, he's probably there watching it now thinking, oh man, if I'd have done that. <laughs> and, you know, don't worry about it, you were all right. Um, but <clears throat> you live and you learn. And yeah, so this is pre-workout and this is, I've just been sent this, um, tried it yesterday and it's the best one I've ever had. It's um, the, the best one um, I've, you, I've ever had. You said it last week. It's better than that one. That was 10 out of 10. 20 out of 20 this one. It's the same thing. What? It's the same thing. No, 20 out of 20. 20. 20 is more than 10, isn't it? Yeah, but it's 20 out of 20. Yes. 10 out of 10. Can I count? <laughs> out of 10, 10 out of 10, 20 out of 20. It's got to be better, surely. So... Mm. That's it, and I just find that a good pre-workout just really helps with my focus, my energy. I've got I've got the sunlight coming in, and the in the photon receptors that are you know that I've got in all over me, and that um, so that's energy. And with my, I've not done my grounding. I've not done my grounding today. I thought something was off. I could feel it. I could feel it. I could notice the difference because there is a difference. There is a difference. Oh, I feel better. Oh, that feels much better. Well, you're on the decking, aren't you, at the moment? What? You to, you're, on, you're on the decking. Aren't you? What do you mean? Well, then, do you have to be on the grass? Uh, you can do it both both ways. Uh, I think both ways are, are equally important. Because uh, this is just wood, and wood is from trees, and it's just part of the earth. 
so it's the same thing really uh, when you think about it but yeah I mean I'll, I'll probably do a bit of that I mean that gets me about 50% of the way um, and I'm creating a demand for a little bit more always creating a demand for something else so we'll just fulfill that demand and just oh god yeah straight away straight away electrons they're all coming out coming in <laughs> they're, they're everywhere if anything Oh, bloody hell, those electrons. Whew. Does it work through your shoes? Don't get their shoes in. But they'll never know. Just keep it above that. Oh, sorry. Keep it Cut that. Know. Yeah, so I feel much better after that, that grounding. Um, <coughs> Tracksuit, by the way. Uh, it's been sent to me. So, go below if you, if you, if you want to look this good, uh, if anything. Uh, and I don't see why it wouldn't. So, I mean, pretty, probably should do a close all at some point, should I? What are you drinking there? What's that? What? What are you drinking? Nothing. Nothing. Just uh, check, check it out. Check in, check it out. Why it's, is it open? It's bad for you. Why is it open? It's not open. It is. Don't worry about it. The sweet is in that. I don't, don't worry about it. I don't, I don't, I don't have stuff like that. I don't have stuff like that. What is this on that? More favourable hand position. What well, the cuffs are not. So that's what you're using for a look. So obviously my hands would be there. Yeah. Now they're there. Yeah. So it's more favourable. Better is it? More favourable for tissue. Yeah. Uh, because essentially what we're trying to do is we're targeting the uh, musculature. Cavill. Something about mTOR, something about stimulation. Oh, but, but why do you want to use this machine anyway? Just tell them why you use this machine anyway. To talk to strength profile, probably. That one? Yeah. Yeah. So, like so the, oh, the strength profile. So, with a strength profile, uh, strength curve, resistance profile. Strength. One of the two. With a strength curve, you are having a drop-off. Drop-off, you know, say drop-off. You have a drop-off. Um, so what a resistance profile does is it um, changes the drop-off, and then there's no, there isn't any drop-off then. Um, you don't want it to drop off. When, 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 you, when you're working, you, you don't want to drop-off. It's your strength profile. And the uh, strength curve, resistance profile. Um, you see, on here, you've got the strength curve there, and then the drop off. So you, you make sure that. Have yeah, you got any bands? Head is instantly more similar. And that's, a, that's a dog. So. That's a dog. So yeah, instantly, um, instantly better. Someone gonna shoot him up? Great man, come here, dog. Great man, great dog. Great dog. Push exercise still. Nobody looks good for the camera. Oh, this is okay. Yeah. See, we more favourable hand position. Check. Strength profile. Comedian resistance. Resistance profile. Drop off. And um, 
yeah, just making sure that I'm stimulating, you know. Yeah, just trying to f the, the cross bridges with the acton and and myotin. <laughs> we, we're trying to we're trying to regenerate those um, by yeah, the filament the the, the, the filament theorem. Um, but yeah, so really good exercise that for the for the pull. Yeah, just finished, and I've just uh, just been to slam down 250 grams of carbs. So you'll you'll find there's a huge glycolytic demand uh, after training. Huge, uh, always in demand. And I just find that surely the carbs you had pre-workout be ready in time now, wouldn't you? No, because you're use you're using them in your training, aren't you? Almost. So then, yeah, you use all of those 150 that I had before, and then another 250. 400. I must have used 400 grams in that session then. What's that, 1,600 calories? I definitely would have gone through 1,600 calories in that session, wouldn't I? Sorry. Anyway, resistance training is glycolytic, so just keep saying some words, mm. fancy words. Uh, and we know that the um, G, uh, GULT4... Um, GULT. G, yeah, the GULT4... Um, Trans in insulin mediated uh, transporters. Um, that sounds good. Too. Yeah, it sounds good. Kind of, uh, just learned that one. It is that one, isn't it? I'm on what? You're reading them. Put it down there if it's obvious. The uh, insulin mediated transporters, um, you know, GLTU4, um, will just translocate glucose shuttle it into cells and tissue um, for accrual of tissue uh, across you know a mesocycle mesocycle um, yeah so plenty plenty of plenty of things learned what else am I doing yeah. eating anything else no yeah, probably yeah but it doesn't matter does it it's around around the peri is what matters isn't it you, you just got to go around the peri so we know that we know that from research and the studies show that around the peri is the most important phase. So make sure that your carbs are specific around the peri. Um, make sure you're having that intra-workout, the cyclic dextrin, um, and the EAAs, which are essential, obviously. It says it in the name, it's obvious. Um, use my code below, that's the code below. Slam the 250 post, um, and then yeah, and then it doesn't really matter what you do for the rest of the day. Yeah, I'll probably just some out, have some other stuff. As long as you've got your blue light blockers on, um, after about six o'clock, I say that's about fine. Uh, for optimal recovery. Remember, remember, guys, you're only as good as your recovery, and you you can only grow as much as you can digest or assimilate. You're only as good as the food that you can assimilate. That makes sense. Digest. So yeah, just trying to switch myself now into the parasympathetic stage. Uh, so I just switch that. Just it's easy as that. It is, it's just that, you know, you know, the autonomic nervous system, which, autonomic. Doesn't that mean, doesn't that mean automa automatic, that like, happens? Fight or flight. It's fight or flight in the gym. Um, I'm a fighter, always, always been. Um, so I don't shy away from any, uh, any cuff work, to be honest, at all, or bands. More bands, for anything. So yeah, fight or flight, and then what you want to do is switch into that parasympathetic. So what I tend to do is just switch into it um, after because it's just better for recovery. It's just better all round for recovery. So yeah, um, the training plan that I have devised without the aid of any coach, uh, you've just seen me, um, just seen me do there, carry that out and perform that maximally. Uh, just just perform that efficient, efficient efficiently. Um, but yeah, so all gone, all gone positively uh, and yeah everything's moving everything's moving forwards and yeah road to road to 2021 uh, well underway and ready for that that, 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 that that pro card so we are coming we are working we are grinding we are pushing we are you know talking sense every week and we are you know microphone on still on in it so uh, yeah that is um, vlog over and yeah that's it really guys, so...